Hello and welcome to Tutorials Open Office. Today we will be covering some of the basics of Writer. Writer is the word processor of Open Office. Writer does the normal features you would expect in a word processor, such as editing text, with other features such as autocorrect, find and replace, table of contents, indexes, mail merge, and anything else you can expect to find in a word processor. We'll explore all the parts of the writer document in this lesson, including the title bar, the menu bar, the toolbars, the rulers, the document area, and the status bar. So why is it important to know all the parts of the document area? Well, when you learn the parts and where they're located, you know exactly where to go to use the command or the feature that will best get the job done for you. We'll start by opening up the writer area. And you can do that by clicking on the Open Office icon on your computer desktop. This will take you to the Open Office menu area. From here you can access all of the Open Office Suite documents. Since we're going to the Writer, we'll click on Text Document, and that should open up Writer for us. At the very top of the document, you have what's called the title bar. The title bar has the name of the document and the program you're in. Since this is a new document, it's called Untitled, and there's only one window open. If there was a second window open, this would be Untitled 2. Let's go ahead and open one up so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. There's another document open. Notice it says Document 2. Now I can close this document by either using the X on the window or double click on the left hand side. And that will close Document 2. Now I'm in Document 1. And that's the title bar. Below the title bar, you have what's called the menu bar. The menu bar contains various menus for you to execute commands. You have the file menu. If you click on the file menu, a list of commands will be displayed. If you notice beside the menu command, there might be a little triangle. That means there's a submenu attached to that command. So if I wanted to open a new document, there's a submenu that lists what type of new document I would want to open. To close the menu, just click outside the menu and that'll close the menu for you. The file menu contains commands such as open, save, print, and export document. If the command is grayed out, that means it's not functional. If I just type something in the document and click on file, notice now the save option is available for me. The edit menu contains things such as undo, redo, or restore, cut, copy, and paste, cut, copy, paste, and find and replace auto text. The view menu contains the views of print layout, web layout, your toolbars, the status bar, ruler, text boundaries, things that you would want to view in your document to help you create your document. The insert menu has various commands to insert. 
for example, header, footer, bookmarks, tables, frames, pictures, movies. You can all insert them with the insert menu. Format will allow you to format your document into various styles. The table menu has insert table, delete table, select table, and make your table pretty. The tools you have available in OpenOffice Writer are spelling and grammar, word count, outline numbering, media player, mail merge, sort, calculate, update, and macros, which are pretty cool. Your window will allow you to open up new windows or close windows or open up the documents that you've worked on today. And help gives you a link to openoffice.org and you can check for updates and get support. Just below your menu bar is the standard toolbar and the formatting toolbar. Toolbars are of several types in OpenOffice, including doc, those are ones that are fixed in place, floating, ones that are floating off, there's a floater there, and tear off. The standard toolbar located below the menu bar is the standard toolbar for pretty much all of your open office suite such as writer, calc, draw, and impress use all similar commands on the standard toolbar. The formatting toolbar below the standard toolbar is text context sensitive. What does that mean? Context sensitive? That means if I and in a different area of writer, a different formatting menu will appear for me. Notice when you click away from the graphic, the toolbar returns back to the normal formatting toolbar for text. To display or hide toolbars, click on the view menu and select toolbars and put a check mark next to the toolbar you want to see. I want to add the drawing toolbar so I'll put a check mark by it and the drawing toolbar appears. Remember earlier I talked about tear off toolbars? Well here's an example of one. If I click on the flowchart toolbar point at the handle and click hold and drag it, it will tear off. Just click on the X to close it back up again. If you notice, some of the tools have a small triangle to the right of them. This means there's more options for you to choose. Some have a sub-menu. Some tear-offs allow you to select different types of tools in that sub-menu area. And some have a command for you to use. So, what I recommend you do is start clicking these little triangles to get familiar with what each one does. Now tear off toolbars can be either floating or docked or made to float. To make a tear off float, click on it and point at the handle, click hold and drag and it will tear off. To get it to dock again, you could click on the X and it will dock again. The standard toolbar has a handle also. If you want to get it to undock, just click, hold, and drag 
and you can undock the standard toolbar. To get it to dock again, you could click on the small triangle on the right, and there's a command to dock the toolbar, and it'll go back to the previous docking area. On an undock toolbar, to get it to move around, just point at the title bar, and you can move it to wherever you want it to go. Click hold, drag it to wherever you want to go while you're pointing at the title bar. You can also lock a dock toolbar in place by clicking on the right triangle and selecting the lock toolbar position. Notice now this toolbar has no more handle so you can't move it. To get rid of the lock, point at the triangle again and uncheck lock toolbar and the handle appears again. You may also not want to have all of these buttons or icons on your toolbar. Maybe you want to get rid of some of them. If you click on the triangle to the right, select visible buttons, and all of the visible buttons will appear as shaded. If they're not visible, they're unshaded. So if I want to get rid of, let's say, edit file, Point at it, click on it, and it's gone from the toolbar. To bring it back again, click on the right triangle, visible buttons, find it, click it again, and it appears again. Now, you can also right click inside a document or any area, and a menu will appear. So if you're unsure about a command or where it's at, try right-clicking. You'll bring up another menu.